I'm Dr. Eldad Farhi. I'm a counseling and psychotherapeutic psychologist. I run psychologyexpert.co.uk and today I will be talking about psychology. To become a school psychologist, or as we call it today, educational psychologist, one follows a specialist training path. In most countries of the world, that would mean that uh, the individual would pursue a double way of training, part as an educational individual, that is teacher, and partly as a psychologist. The exact details will differ. Some countries would expect you to become a teacher first, get a couple of years of experience under your belt, and then train as a psychologist. In other places, they would allow you to train in both at the same time. However, the principle remains the same. You both learn how to be an educator and how to be a psychologist who specializes in the educational needs of children. Educational psychologists work, of course, mostly within educational establishments or within educational departments, and they provide a number of services. They would test and would try to help individuals that are suspected of having educational difficulties. They would help devise more educationally successful programs, particularly using psychological principles. That is to say, they will try to help devise methods of teaching that are more, how shall I say it, that are more appropriate for the individual psyche. By learning the individual, by learning people and the psychology, we can improve the methods we use to teach them. Thus, both improving the science of teaching and the individual experience of pupils, educational psychologists contribute to modern society.